That is it. I have had it with that son of a bitch stencil. He could not direct traffic in a one-horse town. I want off that goddamn picture, Mr. Chanson. I want off it now. Please remember, Miss Carlyle, my preeminent rule. My actresses are always first and foremost ladies. Language, please. Yes, well, then tell that to Tunstall. The things that that man says to me just now, he yelled at me in front of the entire crew. Well, let's, let's review your problem in a calm and rational manner. My problem? I can tell you what my problem is. It's this goddamn wig. I mean, look how it makes me look. I am supposed to be at the height of elegance, a duchess, no less. And see, I have tried to reason with Tunstall. He says I have to wear it. Well, if someone sees me in a picture caught up like this, I'll be a laughingstock. No one will ever be able to take me seriously. I'll be Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm with a bag of flour dumped on our head. No. You know what? You have a point. Huh. A small point. Listen, make a mountain out of a molehill. I'll send Mr. Tunsil a note directing him to costume you in an appropriate wig. You will? Of course. You are too good to me, Mr. Chance. Really, you are. I don't know how you put up with all my shenanigans. You're being groomed for great things. There's not many whose careers I, I give my complete attention to. Mr. Vincent, like you, is one of those people. Mm -hmm. Harry, come in. Let me introduce my protégés. Mm -hmm. Miss Norma Carlyle, Mr. Harry Vincent. Enchanté. Mr. Vincent is helping me with a project which is very close to my heart. He's my right-hand man on this. Really? How wonderful, Mr. Vincent. You must tell me all about it. Mr. Vincent is not at liberty to speak of it at present. Suffice it to say, we do not wish to tip our hat on this one. Mm -hmm. But if Mr. Vincent is already a right-hand man, for what is he being groomed? In the very near future, Mr. Vincent will direct. Now let's let it rest there. Well, Mr. Vincent, then do keep me in mind if anything choice comes up. <laughs> well, I'm yours to command, Miss Carlyle. Please, please, I have work to do, and so does Miss Carlyle. Would you be so kind as to escort the young lady back to her set? Certainly. My very great pleasure. <laughs> 